Number 57. A deep sea diver should breathe a gas mixture that has the same oxygen partial pressure as at sea level, where dry air contains about 21% oxygen and has a total pressure of 1.01 times 10 to the fifth Newton per meter squared. What is the partial pressure of oxygen at sea level? Okay, so basically, um, we have to remember the ideas of partial pressure, right? That if we know, uh, or let, let me write this formula out quickly. It's basically just an idea, all right? That the partial pressure of a certain gas, and in this case, we're talking about oxygen, okay? Will equal then the fraction of oxygen in that gas sample multiplied then by the total pressure. All right, so pretend you have uh, atmospheric air, here's a certain volume of it. It tells you then that about 21% or 20.9% of the total amount of gas in this sample is O2. Just know that atmospheric air then contains about 78% roughly 78% nitrogen gas, and then some trace water vapors and stuff. Uh, so now, the uh, whole idea here is this. If you know the total pressure, the total, total pressure of all of the gases in this mixture, and they told us that. That's the whole idea of the atmospheric pressure here. And they said total pressure. I mean, they were very explicit about that. All right. So the total pressure here is 1.01 uh, times 10 to the fifth. All right, Pascal's. What that means is that if I want to find just the pressure attributed by oxygen, all I need to do is basically take 21% or so of the total pressure. If I wanted to find nitrogen, I would just take then 78% of the total pressure. That's exactly what this formula over here is telling you. All right, so watch. Partial pressure of oxygen would equal the fraction of oxygen present in the in the sample. And, you know, it's given as a percent, but convert that into a decimal. So this is 0 0.209. We know how to do that. Then multiply it by the total, total pressure. That's 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. And voila, we will get our answer. So 0 0.209 times 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. And it works out to be now about 1.11. Excuse me. What am I talking about? 2.11, right? 2.11 times 10 raised, what is going on? Times 10 raised to the fourth, it appears. And that is in Pascal, okay? All right, so that takes care of then letter A. How about letter B? If the diver breathes a gas mixture at a pressure now of two times 10 to the six Newtons per meter square, basically they're telling you the total pressure of the gas mixture. What percent oxygen should it be to have the same oxygen partial pressure as at sea level? All right, so basically, right, we need to have this partial pressure of oxygen, what we just found, okay? This has to be the partial pressure of oxygen. And we now know that the total pressure of the gas mixture is this. And then they're asking us for the percent, or AKA the fraction, right? So again, we're actually going to be using this particular formula for a second time. So I'll write that down here again, that the partial pressure of oxygen will equal then the fraction of oxygen, fraction of O2, multiplied then by the total pressure. So the partial pressure of oxygen, we need it to be 2.11 times 10 to the fourth Pascal. We're solving for then, I'll just call it F sub O2 for fraction of oxygen, okay? And then we're gonna multiply that by the total pressure of the whole gas, which they told us was two times 10 to the sixth. All right, and they're all Newtons per meter, which is a Pascal, so that's fine, no conversions are necessary. All you have to do now, how do you solve for the fraction? All you have to do is then divide this on out, right? You divide then the 2.11 by two times 10 to the sixth, okay? 2.11 times 10 to the fourth by two times 10 to the sixth. And let's do that, 2.11 times 10 to the fourth divided by two times 10 to the sixth. And here we have a fraction, right? The fraction of O2 will now be equal to 0 0.0106, okay? And then if I were to now, and I use rounded numbers, so it might be slightly, you know, as long as you're close, we're good. And then if you had to convert this fraction into a percent, what do you have to do? 
you know you have to multiply it by 100, right? So this would now be this would now work out to be 1.06 percent. So this is the percent of oxygen uh, that must be in this total uh, or be. Uh, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say if I have a certain volume, right, of air, and I know the total pressure of this air is 2.00 times 10 to the sixth, then if 1.06%, 1.06% of the overall gaseous mixture is oxygen, I know then for a fact that the partial pressure of oxygen in this sample will be 2.11 times 10 to the fourth Pascal. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.